Hey guys, it's Karina. So today I figured that I would say my name in the intro, which it usually isn't my typical intro, 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 but I know that we've gained a lot of subscribers since who knows when. You guys might not know my name, so hi, my name is Karina. Anyway, so today I wanted to share with you guys a few products that I have bought or that I have received as PR package and these are products that are new in the market. Brand new makeup, awesome stuff. I'm really excited to try this out. I am going to be doing a first impression using all these products. So give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see that. Um, I recently did some damage at e.l.f. because I haven't placed an order in months and it just seemed wrong that I just hadn't bought makeup in so long. Anyway, so I placed an order at e.l.f. and again, I have some makeup here that I wanted to share with you guys that I have received in the mail. So if you guys want to see this haul, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out of the way because I want to get to the e.l.f. stuff last since I have tons of stuff. Um, I recently got a PR package from Vanity Planet. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Vanity Planet, they specialize in skincare as far as, far as like facial brushes, um, skincare brushes, things like that. I love Vanity Planet. I've been using it for about a year and I love their face brushes. They recently came out with some makeup brushes and these were the ones that I was lucky enough to receive thank you so much Celeste for this cute package it comes with a few of them and it comes with this really cute as you can see it's already dirty but it comes with this really cute um, traveling case which is perfect if you are a makeup artist or if you are just a makeup order like me it comes with a ton of eye brushes it comes with a cute little fan brush and then face brushes I have been using these and let me tell you guys that they are amazing they're some of the best quality brushes that I have personally tried and that is saying a lot because I love brushes but yeah I really like these and I will have the price as far as how much you can get them for I know that I have a discount code with Vanity Planet it is not an affiliate code but y'all can save some cash if you're interested so this is a new set and I'm really excited to try it out well I'm really excited to show you guys how they work because I think they are definitely a good brush set to invest in and again I just really love the packaging like can I die over this because this is just so convenient like throw it in my purse let's go let's go party and I'll do everybody's makeup so next up is jcad now jcad has been amazing to me and they send me a lot of PR packages when they have new products and I honestly love jcad beauty cosmetics because I think it's such an affordable brand and they have a lot of really good quality products um I recently got in the mail two shades from their new foundation this is their HD Perfection Concealer Foundation and I haven't tried it yet because I do want to do a first impressions on this. Now if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do because I do swatches of new products and I had the help of my little girl and she helped me swatch all these four shades that I have for you guys. Um, the first two that they sent me were so light, I'm like, thank you, but I am not that light girl. I am tan, I am a tan biscuit. So these were the first two that I got, um, which, where are the names? This one is Sweet Buff and Warm Honey, which are really pretty colors, but they do not fit Mama. And then the other two that I ended up getting was Golden Beige and Cappuccino Tan. Now these are supposed to be a full coverage foundation that is supposed to leave your skin looking like HD super blurred out super amazing it's also supposed to be long lasting with a natural finish again i haven't tried these out so i really can't give you my opinion on them so yeah these are the new hd skin sealer foundations by jcat just wanted to show you guys this i know this is nothing new but i recently got this this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. It says to use alone, under, or over makeup. I haven't tried this yet again because I am saving it for my first impressions video. I want to do kind of like a full face of first impressions. So I'm going to see how this works. I am really tempted to try it out and compare it to my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer to see how they compare against each other. Okay, so now let's get into the good stuff. Like I said, I placed an order at e.l.f. last week and I got my, my stuff in the mail. So I'm going to show you guys all the products that I got. I purchased these myself with my own little moolah. 
Um, most of these things are new or they were in their new section which is what catches my attention the most. So let's just go over each of them and then I will give you guys swatches as we go along. So I noticed that they had these new e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Molson Liquid Eyeshadows. And these are the three that I picked up. This one is called Rose Gold. And then this one is called Molten Bronze. And then the last one is called Cool Steel. The idea behind these eyeshadows is obviously that they are liquids, but they're supposed to be waterproof, or not waterproof, but they're just supposed to be very long wearing. I have swatched some of these, and I must say I'm really impressed. This is the first one that I'm going to swatch for you guys. It's called Rose Gold. It is so pretty, and let me tell you that just by swatching them in the back of my hand, they lasted a very long time. Can you guys see that? That is the prettiest rose gold metallic. It's very pigmented and I just, I cannot wait to try this out on my lids. I think it's going to look absolutely breathtaking. So here are the swatches of the three products. This metallic uh, gray one is just gorgeous. I mean, can you not? This is so pretty. And again, I'm just so excited to try these out because I don't have anything like this in my collection where it's a liquid eyeshadow. I also picked up this new Aqua Beauty Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer. This is new as it says on here. Now I own pretty much all of the ELF's dual like dual little packs that has a blush and a bronzer but this one was new so I decided to pick it up because I really do like the other bronzers. They're really nice, they're really creamy, they're very pigmented and they're not too muddy on the skin. Whoa that is so bright. Oh no, I just scratched it. Oh my god, you guys. This feels like a cream eyeshadow, but it's not. It's powder. Give it to me, bitch. This is so pretty. I cannot get over how... Oh wait, I cannot get over how silky this is. Okay, let's do a swatch. Guys, you, okay, you need this bronzer in your life. Just click it on this video, go to e.l.f. and order this. This is amazing. I'm not a big fan of this blush. It looks a lot more pink on camera, but it's more of a coral, bright neon coral, you know, in my eyes. The texture of it, I just, I cannot describe it. It really feels like, kind of like the ColourPop eyeshadows, you know, when you dip your finger in them, how they feel really like, moosey ish that's exactly how this feels i am ugh, girl i am excited to wear this bronzer i just i want to put it on right now i was also really intrigued when i saw this this is the elf i need to stop saying elf because obviously this is elf this is the beautifully bare finishing powder in medium dark i knew that this shade was going to fit me like perfectly because right now i'm a little tan so i knew this was going to be like the perfect match and the packaging, sorry, I just got my dirty fingers are all over it. The packaging is really cute. It's kind of like a mirror effect, but I don't love these because they get really dirty. And I'm just too lazy to be cleaning them 24-7. So this is what it looks like. The consistency of it feels really creamy, very soft, and it's actually a really pretty color. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but that is the one that I picked up. And I have a feeling this is going to be like the perfect match for me. I'm really excited to try this out and maybe compare it to the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Um, I have mine in NC42. I believe this one was only $6, so yeah, I'm excited to try this finishing powder. Now this one, I was a savage, not gonna lie. And I did open this yesterday before I left out because I went out somewhere. And this is, I think, their new blush palettes. And this is what it looks like. I actually, actually, no, I don't think this is new. This is just something they've had in there. But this is the blush palette in light. I actually own the dark or the medium one and I really like it. But I was really intrigued by this gorgeous peach color. So this is the one that I wanted to get. This was the reason why I bought it, let's be honest. I got this Selfie Ready Foundation Blurring Brush. Um, I wanted to get more of the brushes, but some of them were sold out, and I kind of wanted to get them all at once. But I was really, really, really curious to try this out. So this is what it looks like, and it's actually pretty short. The bristles are really 
tightly compacted, but it's very soft. Elf has been killing it with brushes. I think the brushes are amazing. One of the best in the drugstore. And this is again a foundation blurring brush. Next up is this Beautifully Bare 3 in 1 Makeup Base, and this is in the color Clear. I just ripped off the back, so I, I just, I don't know what it says now. I think this is supposed to be some sort of like moisturizer primer and a brightener at the same time. I'm not sure. I am a little bit surprised that this is actually small. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. This is what it looks like. Let's open it to see if it smells like Nagas or something. Okay, it doesn't smell too bad. It has a little like floatery scent. Floatery? Floating? Oh, this is the Glide On Gel Eyeliner in the color Brightening Nude. And again, this is a new item. Now, I do have one by ColourPop, which is my favorite. It's called Honey Dude. And again, I want to compare them to see how much they are alike. And this is what it looks like. So it's just your typical creamy nude gel eyeliner. So let's see how it swatches. Um... I can already tell you that this is not going to be better than the ColourPop one. This is the swatch right here. And even though it looks pigmented, it's not as pigmented. It looks a little bit streaky. So we'll see. I'm not going to knock it till I try it. So yeah, this is another pencil that I got. Or a pencil that I got. I also got their clay eyeshadow palette in Necessary Nudes. This is obviously a new item. And I've been actually wanting to try these out for a while. Okay, I see you out. That is one swatch of this brown one. The creamy one. This one at the bottom. So the shimmery shadows don't seem as pigmented as the matte ones, but again, I'm just gonna try it out when I do the first impressions. We'll see if we can make this work. It's called Day to Night Lipstick Duel, and this one is in Needed Nudes. So the concept of this is that you can actually have one lipstick for the day, and then when you go out at night, you know, you're supposed to change it. So this is the color. Okay, so here are the swatches. So this is supposed to be your daytime lipstick. Come on, focus. Daytime lipstick. And then when you're feeling a little wild and frisky, you switch to this one, which for me, it's just, it's not that big of a difference. I would even wear black lipstick during the day, like me vale madre. I'll wear what I want. But these are really pretty. I like the concept behind it, but I wish the other side of the lipstick was a little bit darker. It did look a little bit darker in the picture, but it's okay. I really like the colors and... We'll see how they are. I actually received this one for free. This is the Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in Touch of Berry. And that is the swatch of it. So as you can see, it is a very sheer lipstick. If you are um, a mom that works or if you go to school and you want something that is going to give your lips a little bit of color, I think this is really pretty. For me, I don't know if I will wear it. So yeah, but... I like the color. Ooh, this is the one that I was excited for. This is the Beautifully Bare Lightweight Concealer Stick in Light Medium. <sighs> I'm excited to try this. Okay, that feels very creamy. I really like the color of this. It has a little bit of a yellow undertone. This damn earring always wants to fall off. It is a little bit thicker as far as consistency as you can see when I'm blending it away. It is a little bit thicker, so we'll see how this one applies, but I'm really, really excited to try this. I just dropped it. I have three more things to show you guys, and then I will shut up. This is um, a Mineral Infused Mascara. This is in the color black. I actually remember now, I received a little package because they were having a deal where if you spent $25, they gave you like this little gift set or something like that. And the mascara and the lipstick was part of that, if I am correct. Um, so this is supposed to be like their best seller thingy majinger and yeah. I don't personally care for mascaras because I wear, you know, falsies all the time. But I am excited to try this out for my lower lashes to see how it looks. So we'll try this out. I also saw this in their new section. This is Highlighting Dewy Drops. It says, a liquid highlighter with illuminating pigments that brings light to the face for a glowing, dewy complexion enriched with antioxidants and vitamin E. 
I'm a sucker for vitamin E. Let me tell you, I love me some vitamin E. I apply it to my face every night and it's just the best thing for you. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really like it, but if I were to lose the package, which I'm going to throw it away, but it doesn't really tell you what it is. It just says illuminating. I wish they would say, you know, like illuminating drops or something like that, but I guess you can't be picky. So it says just to apply it onto the highest points of your cheekbones, your cupid's bow, your brow bone, etc. So this is what it looks like and the color of this is illuminating. Um, it actually doesn't look very brightening at all. It looks like it has a lot more shimmer. So we'll see how it works. It looks pretty, but I'm not too excited for this. And then the very last thing is this Pro Eyeshadow Primer. I've been wanting to get an eyeshadow primer because I use the MAC Paint Pots and even though I love that, um, I hate that I have to set it every time and I just I just want something that I don't really have to set. So this is their little eye primer in the color Clear. I'm going to have to see how it compares to the dollar one that they have because that one's pretty good. So that was the last products that I got from Elf. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and become a part of my little family. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye chicas!